Hello everyone, this is Karen. Hello everybody, I am Shane. Today we're looking at day one of Rihanna, a star with a beautiful soul. And the vocabulary words are achieve. Achieve. After years of being rejected, the actress achieved success. Award. Award. Casey has only been writing for a few years, but has already won several awards. Hmm. Escape. Escape. Many people see music as an escape from the pain and stress of their daily lives. Hmm. Release. Release. Police released a video of a man who stole five packages from a mail truck. Oh no. Bad. Shade. Shade. Vince painted his house a bright shade of blue. So we're talking about this beautiful, talented mm. musician, and she was also in some movies too. Her yeah. name is Rihanna. Rihanna, oh, yay! Yeah, I really like Rihanna. She's really pretty. <laughs> she is beautiful, <laughs> but not only that, she's only beautiful, but、mm. she's also very talented because、right. she really knows how to sing. She's won like nine Grammy awards. Really, super talented. She sold like sixty million albums. Mm -hmm. So she must be pretty rich too. Yes, she's very rich, but she also uses her money to help other people、but、as well. She didn't start rich, right? Mm -mm 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 -mm. She was born in Barbados, and、right. she didn't come from a very wealthy family or anything, right? In fact, she was actually from a. Her background was actually from a troubled family, like, you know,、yeah. a troubled childhood. And then I think at age sixteen, that's、yeah. when she moved to America, and then to chase after her dream of becoming a musician. Well, I would say that she definitely succeeded chasing her dream. Exactly, and then she's had a lot, a lot of hit songs like "Under My Umbrella,、uh, Ella, 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 Under My Umbrella." Okay. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, I have、You're、to do that. You're a good、that. singer. Thank you. <laughs> All right, well, let's learn a little bit more about Rihanna, a star、right. with a beautiful soul. Okay, enjoy. Enjoy. Rihanna, a star with a beautiful soul. One of the hottest singers today is Rihanna, who at 32 has achieved more than most stars her age. So far, she has sold over 60 million albums and won nine Grammy awards. Besides her work in music, she has also built a successful business and used her money to help others. Today's lesson is called Rihanna, a star with a beautiful soul, Part One. Hi everyone. My name is Jeff, and I'm Mike. And yes, if you've been around well anywhere in the last ten years and have paid any kind of attention to popular music and the pop charts, you will you will know the name Rihanna, most well known for hits like "Umbrella." Way back in the day, she's collaborated with I'd say probably all of the top artists. In music over the years, but these days she's sort of moved away from music. We see her in more films, and most recently she spent a lot of her time and attention and energy on developing a very successful fashion line. Now, if that wasn't enough, there's so much more about this talented young lady. Well, youngish lady, definitely, and we're going to be finding out about it today and tomorrow. There you go, Rihanna. She's a talented singer,、mm. a great businesswoman, and she also has a beautiful soul. How about that? That's the complete package. Anyways, though, let's go ahead and get started. The first sentence of today's lesson says, "One of the hottest singers today is Rihanna, who, at 32, 32 years of age, has achieved more than most stars." Her age, yes, she's only 32, but she has done it all for the most part. She has achieved tons. Now, here, if you achieve something, you do something. You do something successfully. You accomplish something. But usually, when you achieve something, you do something good. You don't wake up in the morning and tie your shoes and say, "Yes, look at look at what I have achieved." No, you just tied your shoes. That's not a big deal. Nobody is going to celebrate you for doing that. Anyways, for example, after years of being rejected, the actress achieved success. There you go, 
well done. By the way, this word achieve is a verb. Now more on Rihanna. Yes, indeed. So far, it says so far in her career that's been going on 10, 15 years or so, so far she has sold over 60 million albums. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. And won nine Grammy Awards. So there you go. Nine Grammy Awards, the biggest prize that you can win in the music business. Yeah, she's got nine of them. And that's also told by the number of albums that she sold. 60 million albums. Imagine how many downloads yeah. and video clicks and all the other ways we can measure her success as a pop music star. Grammy Awards, right. So the Grammys are like the Oscars. They're the big music prize that people will want to win. And if you win a prize or an honor and you get a trophy of some kind, we often call that thing an award. It could be a trophy, an award and a trophy are very similar. Or just having the honor, having your name up there, your name in the history books, that would be an award as well. So if you do something great and there's some kind of competition and you win a top prize, you probably would also say you won an award. Well done. Good for you. I'm sure your mom is very proud. For example, Casey has only been writing for a few years but has already won several awards. Yeah, wow. there's awards for writing and music and sports and film and all sorts of cool stuff like that. There you go. Now she's a talented singer, mm. Rihanna is, but remember she's also got that beautiful soul thing and some business acumen. Yes, besides her work in music, she has also built a successful business and used her money to help others. So she's got a successful business there. She makes tons of money, but because she has such a beautiful soul, she wants to use her money to help other people. Well done, Rihanna. All right, folks, with that, it's time for us to take a break, but don't go away. We'll be back soon. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。这一次要介绍的人物是相当有名的流行乐歌手蕾哈娜。同学们应该多多少少都有听过她的歌吧？蕾哈娜现在三十二岁，但她的成功已经远远超过同年龄的很多明星了。她目前拿过九座格莱美奖。那除了音乐方面的成就，她还建立了成功的事业，然后也用她的钱来帮助别人。刚刚 Jeff 老师说，蕾哈娜具有 business acumen， 就是说有商业敏锐度。有商业头脑，其中这个 acumen 它是拼作 a c u m e n， 它表示聪明、机智、敏锐或是精明的意思。再看两个单字 achieve， achieve 它表示达成、达到。award award 表示奖或是奖项，像我们课文里面的 Grammy Award 就表示格莱美奖。那么 Mike 老师在解释单字时用到 trophy 这个字 t r o p h y。Trophy 表示奖杯、奖座，或是有战利品的意思。好，那么这个段落有一个句子写到 ：One of the hottest singers today is Rihanna。它是把主词补语提前的倒装句。那我们就来学这个用法。好，我们要强调主词补语或者是主词修饰语比较长的时候，你可以把补语移到句首。然后主词跟 be 动词倒装，我们用句型来看比较清楚。本来直述句的基本句型是主词加 be 动词加主词补语，然后倒装之后呢是主词补语加 be 动词加主词，也就是说你把主词跟主词补语对调就好啦。例如 ，a note left by his roommate was lying on the table， 他室友留的纸条在桌上。那句中的主词是 a note， 后面接修饰语 left by his roommate， 然后动词是 was， lying on the table 是主词补语。好，那我们倒装就是把前后这两个交换，句子就变成 lying on the table was a note left by his roommate。解华课文中。Rihanna, a star with a beautiful soul. Rihanna was born Robin Rihanna Fenty in Barbados. She had a troubled family life and turned to singing as an escape. At 16, she was discovered by a music producer and moved to America. Soon, she released her first album, Music of the Sun, which sold close to two million copies. This was followed by more hit albums and songs, including Umbrella, Diamond, and Stay. Often, musicians go by a single name, like. Drake, or Madonna, or Rihanna, 
Now, is Rihanna actually this person's full name? Is it her name? Kind of. Rihanna was born Robin Rihanna Fenty in Barbados. So is Madonna actually Madonna's name? I don't think so, but Rihanna, that's actually her middle name, Robin Rihanna Fenty. There you go. Anyway, she grew up there in Barbados, and apparently she had a tough life growing up. She had a troubled family life and turned to singing as an escape. So she wanted to get away from her troubled family life, so she turned to singing as an escape, okay? When she was singing, she felt better. She didn't feel troubled by her bad family life there, so she got away from this by singing. This is an escape. You can also use this word escape as a verb. If you get away from a risky situation, a bad situation, you are escaping, or you can make an escape. That's when you get away from something, usually something bad. For example, many people see music as an escape from the pain and stress of their daily lives. Mm -mm. Now, an escape, of course, can be something physical, like a window could be an escape from a burning mm -hmm. room. But here, of course, we're not really talking about how she ran away physically from her pa parents or from her troubled family. This was more to get her mind away. You know, if her family was fighting, she could put on music or sing songs to herself. And this helped her to feel better. And then, of course, because she became successful, she was also able to escape from her mm -hmm. family physically, move off to America, of course, where her career really began. It says, at 16, very young, at 16, she was discovered by a music producer and moved to America. So their music really was an escape for her, not only from her family, but from the little island of Barbados. She was off to America. I think New York was mm -hmm. the place she ended up. Soon she released her first album, Music of the Sun, which sold close to 2 million copies. Wow. So there you go. Not bad for an early first release for a first album, a first collection of music. Yes, when we release something in this way, we're using, of course, release as a verb. We could use it as a noun. And in both cases, when we use it this way, we're talking about some kind of media, some kind of thing that people have made and they're putting it out there. They're basically putting it out on sale, available for people to get. For example, police released a video of a man who stole five packages from a mail truck. Here, of mm. course, it's not a, a show that they're releasing, but it's video that they have. They've looked at it. They now need people's help, so they're putting it out there for the public to see. Mm. Now, nowadays, when people talk about albums, there's a word that people use. Mm. They say that the album is going to drop. Yes, to release an album is to drop that album, not literally, or to publish that album. But here, when you're talking about music, you release or drop albums and singles and stuff like that. Anyways, that first album was very successful, but this was followed by more. This was followed by more hit albums and songs, including Umbrella, Diamond, and Stay, my personal favorite. All right, folks, with that, it's time for us to take a short break, but don't go away. We'll be back soon. Lehana Barbados, Babe 同样可以当动词或当名词，当动词可以表达发行、上映或是发布。那么当名词就表示发表、发行。赵老师刚刚提到drop也有发行的意思哦，你可以用drop an album 来表达发行专辑。计划课文中。Rihanna, a star with a beautiful soul. In 2017, Rihanna created Fenty Beauty, the first beauty brand to offer 40 different shades of foundation. As a black woman, she had noticed a lack of foundations for darker-skinned women. She therefore created a brand for every skin tone under the sun. I wanted everyone to feel included, Rihanna said, and people love the results. 
Okay, moving on, let's learn some more about Rihanna. In 2017, Rihanna created Fenty Beauty, the first beauty brand to offer 40 different shades of foundation. You heard me right. 40 different shades of foundation. Amazing. Oh, before we move on here, we also have to cover the word shade. Here we're not talking about that dark area under a tree on a really sunny day. That would be shade, but that's not the case here. When you're talking about a shade of a color, you're talking about colors that are similar to one another, but which are not the same. Like there, you might have different shades of blue, but technically they're all different colors. They're slightly different. They're shades. Like for blue, you could have blue, light blue, navy blue, so on, so forth. So on, so forth, I should say. These are all different shades of a color. And here we're talking about shades of foundation, a type of makeup. Anyways, for example, Vince painted his house a bright shade of blue. There you go. There's another shade of blue. Hmm, very interesting. So this is for, you know, everyone around the world, no matter your skin color, you can find a shade of foundation under the Fenty line. 40, 40 different, different, different shades. I can't imagine. As a black woman, she had noticed a lack of foundations for darker skinned women. Yeah, mm. well, a lot of the Fashion companies are based in Europe. They're making uh, foundation and makeup for lighter skinned women. So she saw this space in the market that she wanted to fill and give a good product for lots of other people. She felt like herself were sort of being ignored. She therefore created a brand for every skin tone under the sun. Doesn't matter what corner of the world you're from, they will have a shade of foundation that matches your skin tone. I wanted everyone to feel included, Rihanna said, and people love the results. Yes, why shouldn't people all around the world, no matter what they look like, be able to find makeup that looks good for them? That's that beautiful soul in action. She says, I want everyone to feel included. I don't want anyone to feel left out or excluded. What a beautiful soul. All right, everyone. Day one of our lesson on Rihanna is now in the books, and it's time for us to say bye-bye. Rihanna 在二零一七年创立了美容品牌 Fenty Beauty。这个品牌提供了四十种不同深浅颜色的粉底霜，让世界上每种肤色都可以找到适合自己的粉底霜。好，那么单字 shade。Shade， 它可以用来指颜色的深浅浓淡。那这个字也可以用来表达阴凉处、树荫的意思。梅哈娜说呢，她想要每个人都觉得自己有被包括在内，不希望有人被排挤在外。那 Jeff 老师刚刚用到 exclude。Exclude 这个动词就表示把什么排除在外，不包括。那它是拼作 e x c l u d e 这个动词。好，那我们文中有用到 feel included， 则是表达说感到被包括在内，被包容，有归属感。那我们这边要顺便来学跟感官有关的这个连缀动词。与感官有关的连缀动词包括 sound 听起来 ，smell 闻起来。Taste 尝起来 ，look 看起来 ，feel 感觉起来等等。那它的用法是 sound、smell、taste、look 或是 feel， 然后加上形容词，或者是加上 like 加名词。那我们来看两个例句 ：You look different. Did you get a haircut? 哎，你看起来不太一样哎，是不是有剪头发呢？那这边是在 look 后面接形容词。The soap smells like roses. 这块肥皂闻起来像玫瑰哎。那这边我们是在 smell 后面接 like 加名词。好，那么以上这些讲解，同学们别走开，马上回来哦。各位学员们，大家好，我是季安老师。我们今天带大家看一下照片描述的常见句型。今天讲的是这个主词加上 be 动词加 P P， 就是一般的什么？被动式 ，All right， 那我们就来看一下这个题目喽。OK， 看一下这个场景哦，百货公司的感觉，服饰店，嗯，挺美的。好，开始喽。A， the room's floor is being carpeted. B， the clothes are displayed in a store. C， the dresses are lying on the ground. D， 
The store managers have uniforms on. 这边有没有人选的是第一个呢？第一个绝对不能选哦。即便你没有听到他的单词是什么的话，还是不能选。为什么呢？我再播一次给大家听听看哦。A, the room's floor is being carpeted. 有没有听到那个 is being 怎么样 ？OK， 那我们之前有讲过嘛 ，is being 后面加上 PP 的话，这个东西正在被 is being 什么什么什么 PP， 一定要什么要有人。但是呢，这些长得像人。可是他们不是人 ，OK？ <笑>这些是人形哦，是 mannequin， 它不是人 ，OK？ 再听一次 ，A， the room's floor is being carpeted。OK， 所以这个是不能选的。那这边这个选项是什么 ？The room's floor is being carpeted。OK。B， the clothes are displayed in a store。The clothes are displayed in a store。嗯哼。C。The dresses are lying on the ground. Dresses are lying in the ground. D. The, ground. the store managers have uniforms on. Okay. 好，这一题的答案呢是第二个。那第一个为什么错？ Room's、我们刚刚 floor is being carpeted. 刚刚有说过了吗 ？B. The clothes are displayed in a store. 答案是这个。The clothes are displayed in a store. 在店里面呢被展示出来。C. The dresses are lying on the ground. Dresses are lying on the ground. 在地板上，但地板还蛮干净的哈，就是只有瓷砖而已，它没有放在地板上。D. The store managers have uniforms on. The store managers have uniforms on. 哦，这边并没有 store manager， 所以呢，其他都不用理他了。记得错一点点就算错。那既然没有 store manager， 后面就不要。不用选这个 uniform， 你不要觉得哎、欸，我觉得这个还蛮像 uniform 的、啊，好像是这个银行啊的 uniform 之类的，不是，记得不要脑补哈。所以答案是这一个 ，The clothes are displayed in a store， 在店里面呢被展示出来。好，那刚刚这个 A 选项的。内容大家可能比较不熟悉啊。The room's floor is being carpeted. OK, carpet 当这个名词的时候就是地毯。OK， 地毯。我们在阿拉丁里面就有听到这个嘛，哈 ，Magic Carpet Ride， OK， Carpet 就是乘坐这个飞毯地毯在那边飞 ，All right， Carpet， 那这边当动词的话就是铺地毯，好，这边呃只有瓷砖，瓷砖呢它是什么 ？T I L E， 这个呢台语就念什么？泰鲁，其实就是从这个字来的哈，泰鲁 ，Tile， 泰鲁啊，变日文啊，这个，好 ，Tile， 泰鲁，好，再来我们再看一题。审题要好，准备开始喽。A, the man is allowed to park his car here. B, the street is filled with people. C, the cars are lined up in the traffic. D, the man's car is decorated with a flag. 嗯哼，好，我们再听一次。A, the man is allowed to park his car here. B, the street is filled with people. C, the cars are lined up in the traffic. D. The man's car is decorated with a flag. Hmm.、Mm-hmm. The man's 最后有 flag 吗？好像没有。The man is allowed to park his car here. The man is allowed to park his car here. Okay. 他可以把车子停在这边。呃，这个是大马路，对，所以他被允许停在这边，应该是不行。但是我们不知道哦，这个没有办法从这一张图片，或许有可能嘛，对不对？但是从图片是判断不出来的，所以这个不能选。B. The street is filled with people. The street is filled with people. Okay, 没有，都只有车子。C, the cars are lined up in the traffic. The cars are lined up in the traffic. 答案是这一个哈，它在这个车阵当中排排一列哈啊 ，lined up. D, the man's car is decorated with a flag. The man's car is decorated with a flag. 哈，用这个。国旗或者是旗帜去装饰哈，但是就并没有喽哦，所以答案呢是这个 ，The cars are lined up, lined up in the traffic， 在车阵当中呢就是排一整列。The street is filled with people， 充满了，但是没有。The man is allowed to park his car here， 照理说不行了，但是嗯，在哦，就是你没有办法得知哈，就没有办法从图片里面去推断出来，就不能选。OK， 我是季安老师，我们今天的这个剧情讲解就到这边，我们下部影片见，拜拜。
们今天要来看两个非常易混淆的字 ，bored and boring， 到底哪里都不一样呢 ？All right. So so bored right now. Yeah, Shane's really boring. No, <laughs> you're boring, so I'm bored. <laughs> All right. 第一个字呢，我们先来看 bored. Bored. 第二个 boring. Boring. <laughs> Boring. Okay, we're going to look at the word "bored." The first one, all right, this is a descriptive word. Its meaning is to be bored. So you said I am bored. Oh, so it's not that Shane is very bored. Yes, you are not 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 bored. She was bored, so she turned on the television.、Uh, 就是她无聊到她打开电视这样。Mm, yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, boring is 就是有一个东西，就是令人觉得很无聊。啊、oh, ，对，就是 Shane is boring. 不，我不是个东西，所以东西你是一个东西。<笑>可是你也可以说人很无聊。可是我<笑>我有记得就是 boring i n g 跟 thing t h i n g。那这个 thing 是 wrong， 我觉得很 bored。对对对对对对。wrong， 我觉得 bored， it's boring。啊。对对对。So， 比如说你今天可能在开长途车好了，你就可以说啊、哦，怎么开这么久 ？The long car ride was very boring。Because the person sitting next to me is very boring。No， so I'm bored. bored.、Okay. Get it? All right. What? Ever. Anyway, you're boring. Anyway, we're going to go into live action. Live action. My favorite is not, not boring, boring at all. Not. <laughs> I feel bored all the time. Why do you think that is? Maybe you're just a boring person. Hey, that's not very nice. There's nothing wrong with being boring. I actually prefer being around boring people. Huh? What do you mean? Why? If you're bored all the time, that probably means there's no drama going on in your life. I don't like hanging out with people with too much drama. So you hang out with me because I bore you? Are you bored now? A little bit. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, don't worry. You're boring in a good way. You know, it's very comfortable being around you. Thanks. Yeah. I think. Y you do you. Yeah. Okay. Got it.